We've all been taught the three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle. But with the ecological crisis as pertinent as the present economic crisis, we as American citizens and as human beings have to reevaluate the way we live. Human impact is the leading cause of changes in our environment. From global warming to gas mileage, from carbon footprints to hybrid cars, the need and drive to live sustainably is upon us from every angle. Many things we do and buy every single day affect biodiversity and our planet. The food we eat has an effect on the environment. Take meat, for example. Cows release methane into the atmosphere. Methane is a greenhouse gas which traps infrared radiation that would otherwise escape into space and thus heats the planet. In short, cows help cause global warming by emitting almost 100 million tons of methane each year, enough to warm up the planet. By simply decreasing the amount of beef you eat per week, you can greatly reduce methane emissions into the atmosphere. Same goes with dairy. Fish consumption has also strained the environment. Consuming fish has caused overfishing, depleting the fish populations and causing habitat destruction. Be particular about the fish you eat. Many fish are overharvested, or their capture has negative effects on ocean ecosystems. Saying no to sushi for a few days a week can help save the environment. In terms of produce, a sustainable choice would be to buy organic and local fruits and vegetables instead of having produce shipped to your grocery store, cutting down on the fossil fuels used to ship foods from far destinations. Growing your own fruits and vegetables is also a sustainable alternative. If we ate organically grown produce, we'd remove 580 billion pounds of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. People use a very extreme amount of energy in their households in terms of heating, water, and etc. There are simple things you can do at home to promote sustainability. For example, change your regular light bulbs to compact fluorescent light bulbs. The simple switch will save about 300 pounds of carbon dioxide a year. For heating, if you simply switch your thermostat down a few notches in winter, that could save around 2,000 pounds of carbon dioxide a year. Simple things like using less hot water when you shower or when you do laundry can reduce your carbon emissions to around 400 pounds per year. You could also use a clothesline instead of a dryer in the warmer months, saving 700 pounds of carbon dioxide. Another example is using your microwave more, which uses a lot less energy than conventional ovens and stoves. When buying new electronic appliances, try to buy energy efficient appliances. Also, unplug unused devices. Keeping appliances plugged into an outlet wastes energy, but by turning them off and keeping them unplugged will save thousands of pounds of carbon dioxide a year. Also, turn off lights or air conditioning when you are not in a room. If you have a lawn, use gray water, recycled water from showers, baths, clothes washing, etc. These sources of water are clean and free of chemicals and are a sustainable method of watering your lawn. When you're away from home, you can live the green life too. Instead of driving everywhere, take public transportation or carpool. This reduces a thousand pounds of CO2 emissions a year. If you need to drive a car, at least make it a fuel-efficient vehicle, like a hybrid car, which are growing in popularity and availability. While many believe that living the sustainable life is costly and inconvenient, it's actually pretty easy to be green. There are many affordable and sustainable solutions to reduce a person's carbon footprint, their resource and energy consumption, and to sustain the earth. By individually doing your part, you can help the world change.